businesses have helped Fijians improve their living standards over the years. The Fiji government has taken heed of the needs and concerns of entrepreneurs in the micro, small and medium business sectors. The Fiji government has set aside $1 million in its 2015 national budget for small business startups. In this short video, we will look at three small business owners. The first of which is Amran Yusuf, owner of a water taxi company that currently services the Mamanuda Island Group in Nandi. I did like a one-stop shop. Like when the clients book with me, I tell them that I will meet them and I will meet them and I will land, land transport, like land transport meaning transporting them from the airport to the jetty and water taxi from the jetty to the holiday destination, whichever island they travel to. Okay. And uh, that's why I'm unique in uh, in my business because as, as a female owner, 100% locally owned, we, we, I, I work with other, like say, 30 other competitors that, that's doing the same business. And I, and I had to look for a, a unique selling point. So one of the uh, unique selling points is this, like coming to meet them, <coughs> meet them like, 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 to meet them like a one-stop shop. So, um, so that's what I do. And not only that, uh, within the, the, the short, short period of time I spent with my clients, apart from emailing and you don't know who they were, you get to meet them, you get to know who they travel with, their children, and from there you build a relationship. You know, and if they're happy with what you do, and that's how they go back and market, market you, you know, word by mouth. As the, uh, the service provider, we have to uh, we have to meet the demands of our customers, and we have to make them happy because uh, the, the customers are the one who brings us, uh, you know, uh, sales. And through sales, it, it turns into our income, and at the end of the day, it's uh, it pays off my mortgage and also pays off uh, my captain's wages and the crew and uh, and the fuel, and it also meets other ex uh, expenses in the in the household. I have just been elected uh, Women in Business uh, uh, rep here in the West, so uh, it, uh, it will give me a lot of uh, opportunity to, to meet with upcoming businesses, uh, business women um, uh, on a smaller scale, for an example, uh, um, ladies who sell flowers by the roadside, and, or fish, or grog, or cigarette, or whatever, whatever they sell to generate income and which is a business, that those are the, the type of women that we are going to target. And While Amran pampers herself, we speak to another small business owner, hairstylist Philip Scott, who started out in the field more than 30 years ago. Um, well, being in the industry for this long, we're like the seniors in town right now. Yes. The competition is wonderful, but the injection of foreign products and the, whatever's been happening in the country recently, the, it's not that uh, anti-Asian, but just the fact that it's a whole lot of cheaper products and mm. products that we really can't read the instructions mm. about, products that we really don't know anything about and it's been put on the market and to be able to compete with that is a lot difficult. It's a lot cheaper, but the after effect is really devastating. Mm which is why I, I much prefer to stick to the, the other names like Wella and Affinage and Swashkov, what I really to. We've had to even teach them how to answer the phone, you know? But I feel if you come and do an apprenticeship in the salon first and then go out and there, it will prepare you for what you're okay. about to open up yourself to and be able to grasp whatever they're ready to give you. You know, the beauty of it all is really to see how people go out and carry your name as a crown. 
Situated at the back of Philip's hair salon is a small room where 44-year-old Innie Gok has set up her style and beauty spa. She first shares with us why she got into this industry. And uh, why I took uh, interest in this is because I got really inquisitive uh, with makeup and uh, nail polish. Nail polish since my dad used to restrict us from. Once I finished school, then I ventured out into doing beauty, and we were the only one in Fiji that did beauty therapy back in the days. And in 2010, I ventured out into into onto an island, and I work along with uh, stock cruisers, Ululu, Ulala. They work on um, Savala Island, and I've got two girls out there doing massages daily, seven days a week, and. Till today, currently they're still doing. I still have that business out there, and I ventured out into private homes alongside Hilton. I've been doing that for seven years now. The reason being is there's a lot of spas in the market. Mm. I can't keep up with them, <laughs> so there's a lot of competition. So. I've downsized just to keep my clientele. I've still got my regulars. I've still got all my overseas clients coming every year. And uh, that's who I look after now. I look forward for new things. I look forward for good things, positive things, because of this government as well. Uh, it's also helping small businesses like mine, mm -hmm. and we recognize, we are recognized now. I, I like this word, fat. Um, fat. Um, I learned this fat word from when I was a youth, and um, fat means, F means faithful, and A means available and T means teachable. So these three words I learned and it has brought me here today. Mm -hmm.